my investments uh, were both in NXT and Ethereum. That was the two yeah. major. Uh, I also invested in Dogecoin too, just because it was a gimmick, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, and you know it was so heavily traded at that time, right? So, you know how like you had explained to me that ninety over ninety percent of the software projects don't ever make it to market. Yeah. Yeah, you, you told me some weird, crazy-ass stats that, you know, most large-scale software projects do not work, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. so, I, I mean... 95% fail. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, yeah. you know, if... The way I look at it is like this, man. NXT is on the market. Yeah. N- NXT is on the market, uh, whereas Ethereum is not. They didn't even have a... A, a, a beta version or whatever you call it in software development, they didn't even have a an early bird version out yet, and NXT was already ahead of the game. The only yeah. thing, you, you know as well as I do, the only complaint that I ever had about NXT is that there's not a public figure. And, you know, the, the, they did not release a white paper early enough. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and yeah, there was a lot of issues with not with the software but with the organization, right? Yeah, here's the thing that NXT, in my opinion, here's the thing that NXT did to propel the success of Ethereum. You know what that is? What is that? This is something that I don't believe anybody ever talks about. I believe that this is one of the major reasons why Ethereum has the success that it did. And I believe that it's due to the due to uh, to due to the predecessor to add due to NXT being the predecessor, and you know what that is? What is that? Okay, what was the one the biggest number one controversy with NXT when it was first released? Well, it was a scam, right? No, that it was pre mined. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was, was something. Pre-mined. That was something. But it wasn't the, pre-mined. It was, yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't pre-mined. You had to buy into the IPO, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. It's pre-mined. But basically, it was the first okay. time that a cryptocurrency was pre-mined. No, there, that's not true. There were other pre-mines. There are, but they didn't have like a big name like NXT. They, they didn't have because okay. the other ones were just knockoffs of uh, a replica Bitcoin, yeah. ca- of ca- uh, Bitcoin. NXT yeah. was the first cryptocurrency that was not a duplicate of a uh, of a uh, uh, yeah it was an entirely new code yeah base, it was right? not a yeah. copy and paste version of bitcoin yeah it was not a copy and paste and then edited version of bitcoin like litecoin or yeah. dogecoin any of those it was a completely yeah. new and it was the first time that they had a pre-mine they had like a billion nxts right yeah yeah and at that time, I believe that in the cryptocurrency world, right, in the Bitcoin world and everything, people could not handle that. It was so new, and it was such a, a, a innovative. And But the thing was that it was the first time people were exposed to pre-mined coins, and they couldn't handle yeah. that. You know, there was a lot yeah. of haters out there. They just couldn't get over the fact of the proof-of-stake and 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 that aspect. So the yeah. NXT and they, it had to be because there was no mining, right? There was no. It was like there's gonna be a billion NXTs and that was it. Yeah. And so what happened yeah. was that created that there was a group of people who got over it, and like myself and you and Eric, we got over it. We didn't care if it was pre-mined, yeah. right? We cared that it was out yeah. and it was innovative, and we wouldn't take the risk to invest into it. Other people, the other haters, did not like that. But what it yeah. did do, I believe what NXT did do is this. It laid the foundation for the fact that a cryptocurrency can exist, you know, pre-mined. You know? Yeah, sure it can. Yeah, yeah. it can. And it proved that, and they went on, and then people started to realize that it was not a scam. And yeah. then the public became accepting of it. The public... Yeah start to accept the fact that, hey, you know what? A pre-mine can actually become a legitimate cryptocurrency. And so yeah. now, because it was legit, everybody else that came along tried to ride on the coattail of the success of the pre-mine NXTs. 
And when he, by the okay. time Ethereum came along, think about when Ethereum came out, right? NXT well, came out in January. For, right? NXT yeah, came I, out in, in, in December, January of 2014, 14. right, of late. Uh-huh. 2013, early 2014, and then when did Ethereum come out? Well, it started coming out in 2000, um, 2014 like, is when they started. The, the IPO was supposed to be in January of 2014. That's when the original date was, and then yeah. it got pushed back to July. Right? Yeah, yeah. It got pushed back to July. So, But they were promoting it all through 2013, you know, all through 2013, like Vitalik was going around, you know, there were being, if you go look at the Ethereum videos, it, it was all throughout 2013, right? The yeah. whole Bitcoin 2.0. Remember, we were talking about, like, it's either going to be NXTs or Ethereums right now. And that, that really happened, started happening in 2013, the second half, I would say. Yeah. 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 I mean, we had some of those popular videos on YouTube talking between Ethereum and NXT. Yeah. You know, at the barbecue place in Austin with uh, yeah. which call it, and then at the uh, at the Texas Bitcoin conference uh, yeah. in your Maserati. Yeah, my Maserati. Yeah, in your Maserati, bro. Yeah, you know. Yeah, 